Okay, this okay. Guy, these folks really know how to start a party. We're going to talk about accounting. Yeah. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> That's a riot. I mean, you know, good planning. Do it first. <laughs> Do you ever feel like a squirrel whose head is caught in a yogurt can? Do you ever feel like you're just looking down this thing and only can see right in front of you? And you just work on whatever is right in front of you. You don't have any visibility except for what's right in front of you. Well, I go around and talk to a lot of companies, and that's one of the things that I see is that people are working really hard about what's right in front of them. And that's not a bad thing. That's OK, right? You're working on something, right? So you're working on something that's right in front of you. But what if you could instead be that squirrel who finds the nut and cracks the nut and looks inside and says, what is the meat in this nut? I found something, right? I'm looking at something. and. I'm more informed. I've got something of value. I'm not just got my head stuck in a yogurt can, right? I'm not just walking around. What am I going to do? So I want to I want to share with you my thought on a role that we could put our accounting and finance folks in or people that use accounting information in that could help them do a better job of finding the meat in the nut, right? Versus being in the yogurt can. And actually, that picture of the squirrel in the yogurt can is actually a squirrel that my husband saw in a parking lot whose head was stuck in a yogurt can. And he actually froze, and my husband grabbed the squirrel, or grabbed the yogurt can, and the squirrel took off, and he saved the squirrel. So the squirrel probably grew, grew up to be a really good accountant. Okay. So what I do know, though, for sure, the role for our accounting folks that they're really comfortable in just doesn't really do it for us if we're going to really find uh, ways that the information that we have in our accounting systems can really help our lean transformation. So reporting and policing just really doesn't do it. But until we create a picture of what they could do instead, they're going to be stuck doing what they've always done. So. I want to just suggest that there's some great nut meat in our accounting transactions that come from our companies. Now, I put this topic on with great fear that you would think that we should run our companies just based on the numbers, and we should not do that. So that's not my message, and I hope I can articulate it well enough. But I think what there is is that there are transactions in our accounting systems that come from the work that happen in operations every day that could help inform us about opportunities, process opportunities are in business. So here's an example. So we could probably dig around and find in our accounting system the transactions that would tell us how many times and what kind of parts do we pay an expediting fee to our suppliers to bring in. Now, if you're paying an expediting fee to your, ex your, your suppliers, there is a defect, right? There's some kind of process problem if that's going on. But if we don't know it's happening or if it's hidden away in these transactions, we don't see us there. But it's actually very easy to find that information in our accounting transactions. So rather than looking at just how much did we pay people expediting fees, we could dig and we could open up the nut and we can look in and we can say, wow, this, it's this supplier. It's these kind of parts. It's this location. And now we've got information that could help inform some of our process improvement activities about where there might be activities that could yield good improvements in our processes. Or how about this one? How many times do our customers and us not really have a real good handshake on our deals? And one of the indicators of that is when customers pay us, but they don't pay the whole amount. They pay more or less. It's funny, customers sometimes actually pay more. Believe it or not, you might not even know that about your company. Sometimes they'll pay more than, because it's in their system of what they're going to pay you. They're not looking at your invoice. But there's all this kind of information locked away in our accounting systems that could be fodder 
for our transformation efforts, our process improvement efforts. So we can look in there, and this is a new role, teaching, accounting, and saying, hey, give me this stuff. I want to know. I know it's in that accounting transaction system. Give me this information. How about this one? A little bit different cut. How many departments, we're talking about employee engagement and being a better place for, for employees, how many depart, which departments have the highest voluntary turnover rate? In other words, I can't, people can't stand working for that leader, for that manager, right? So they do everything they can to get away from it. That transactional data is in our payroll systems. All we have to do is go look for it. The, the, tra the tracks are there of what's going on. How about just who works the most overtime? This is a great one. Just, just find out in your payroll system which employee for a location, by name, consistently works the most overtime hours. Why do they do that? The process is broken. So they're having to work extra time. They're trying to do other things to get what we need to get done for our customers, and then they work a bunch of overtime. So the trails, the tracks are there. Uh, you can't run your improvement efforts based on an income statement or a balance sheet. Sorry, does it work? The information's not there. But that information that's underneath there can be valuable for our process improvement activities. So I want you to so get, it, get your heads out of the, get your accounting folks' heads, get our heads out of the yogurt can, and uh, go get information that's readily available within our companies to help support and, um, and detect and identify where these ongoing problems are in our processes. So we're going to use the transactional information, the outcome, because the transactions come in. And when you do stuff, it comes in the accounting system. You're going to use them, and you're going to help you see not what you can improve in accounting, but cross-functionally. What about in order entry? What about in product development, what about in shipping, what about in manufacturing, et cetera, et cetera. So get, get cross-functional, get accounting with the rest of the part of the company. It's a much better role than policing and reporting. So there you go, 10 minutes of accounting. Actually, eight.